and welcome back to Pokemon Snap with me, Austin John of the YouTube channel Austin John Plays, which you're currently watching. Awesome. I appreciate you for that. In our last episode, we went to the beach and we took photos of how many Pokemon? Eight different types of Pokemon for a total of 12,480 points. Nice. We don't have any power-ups or anything yet, but hopefully we're going to learn more about that in our next level, the tunnel. Honestly, one of my favorite levels, probably my second favorite level. I definitely like the canyon, but the tunnel is also pretty awesome. Uh, there might be a legendary electric type Pokemon in there. There used to be a power plant in this long dark tunnel. I can't wait to check it out. Who puts a power plant in a tunnel? Wouldn't that be like really, really bad for yes. heat dispersion? Like really bad? Maybe they use geothermal cooling? Hey look, it's another Pikachu. Cool, hope I got credit for that. An electrode, that's not a good photo of it. These electrodes have a tendency to self-destruct. And we got Electabuzz's butt, that's awesome. Pokemon don't like to be photographed from behind. We did learn that before. Look how sad this electrode is. Yep, I want that energy. Cocoonas are coming down from the ceiling. Did I miss them? Oh no! Uh. Oh man. That was crazy. That's a nice frontal. I'm not gonna get that Kakuna credit, am I? Come on. Kakuna! Awesome. Oh, <laughs> there's a Zubat butt. Probably my fault because I wasn't facing the right way. Look at that giant thunder egg! It's just a question mark for now because we don't know what it is. And look at this ball of gas. We don't know what that is either. Oh, and there was a magic carp. Totally missed that. Is he gonna pop back out? I don't think he is. Sounds like I missed another Zubat. Okay, I want this ball a little bit better. Pretty sure it's like Ghastly or a Haunter. One of those two. These Electabuzz seem very upset that they can't watch TV. I would too. Hey, look, it's Diglett hanging out with this Pikachu. Oh. I'm pretty sure if I take photos of the Pikachu several times, it does things. No? Am I wrong? Okay, maybe I'm not remembering that correctly. Alright, let's get this Electabuzz. I don't think I have a single frontal of Electabuzz right now. This ominous blank area over here on the right. Cool. Hey, look, it's all these Magnemites. Oh, but I'm not allowed to take photos of the Magnemites because they get shy when I do that. That's a thing. Oh, something neat. These Pokemon can actually um, stop the cart from moving. And if they do, it can, like, pause your progress. Also, we have this little path over here by this electrode. And if you, uh... Let's just say, find a way to have that electrode break those boulders, then you can head through there. And if there's one thing we know about, you know, video games and boulders to break, it's about bombs. That might come from my vast knowledge of playing Zelda. Oh, and look, we're done! What's our character's name in this? Isn't it like Todd or something? I don't know, it's something like that. Alright, how many photos did we take here? 37 photos, I could use the album mark to save my favorite pictures in the album. Six pictures of Pikachu have been taken. Oh, so on the left it's going to show me my highest scored photo of that Pokemon, regardless of the level. I kind of like this one with the Diglett in there, so let's do that one. Oh yeah, it's Haunter. So now, were any of these good? I don't know, I guess that one's the best one. Two pictures of Diglett. Oh, that's a that's a star shot right there. Five pictures of Electabuzz. His back. Him dying. He's dead. His back. His back. Let's go with him dead. <laughs> Speaking of dead, look at that sad electrode. Okay, so he's exploding, but it's his butt, so it's not a good photo. Oh, I have an exploding electrode, a sad dead electrode, and a smiley... Smiley Electrode. This one, he's slightly bigger, so I'm gonna do with that one. 
Uh, oh, we did get credit for Kakuna in a couple of photos. They aren't good photos, but they are Kakuna, so that's all that matters, right? Did I miss anything? Let's see if there's... Okay, so no, it doesn't prompt me if I try to leave without taking a, a, uh, a Pokemon that I may or may not have registered. So, like, the zoo... No, I wanted the Zubat picture. Two pictures of Zubat. They're both not good. It's about as good as my Lapras photo. Okay, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Great. Let's go to Professor Oak with these Pokemans over here. Huh, what's new this time? It's an electrode. How's the size? 520. How's the pose? 900. It's very nice. Cool. And the technique? Pokemon's right in the middle of the frame. Double the score. 2840 is not bad. Electabuzz. Let me see. This is an Electabuzz. The size? 490. It's so-so. The pose? Oh dear, it fainted. It's 800 points. The technique? The Pokemon's right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. Thanks. Kakuna. Let me see. This is Kakuna. How's the size? Horrible. This is a bad photo. You should be ashamed of yourself and you should never play this game again. <laughs> Same thing with the Zubat. It's gonna be a real bad one. Alright, this Haunter. The size, so if you remember, like, I have no idea what this looked like while I was taking the photo. And 2,000 points for not even seeing the Pokemon, that's not bad. Is this Pikachu going to be better than the last Pikachu I had? It's really cool that this is how they introduce you to the mechanic between the two different levels. How's the size? 470, it's so-so. The pose is, the pose is better. The technique, right in the middle of the frame. Oh dear, your last shot was better than this. Which picture are you going to save in your report? The better one. Look at this Diglett. That's a nice Diglett picture. Would it say it's trying to go underground? Uh, it would have been perfect if the Pokemon were in the middle of the frame. How is that not in the middle of the frame, dude? Like, if I were to divide that into thirds, he's definitely in the middle. Uh, if you get 1,940 more points on your Pokemon report, you'll get something cool. Why that one random number? So what, 24,000 is the goal? That being said, I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna grind out this beach level with no additional new items or anything. And I'm just gonna get better photos of everything that I have. And uh, hopefully that'll give me enough points. I mean, that Doduo photo alone should be enough, right? I know that I could get this Pikachu on the surfboard later and I'm very excited for that. Yeah, look at that Lapras. Oh man, it's multiple Lapras. I think that's like a very rare event that once in a while can happen and I'm excited that it did happen. Oh man, look how nice that Lapras looks. Oh man, look how nice that Lapras looks. Nice. What happens if I run out of photos? Do I continue with the course? Oh, I get to end the course early, perfect. I think the Lapras work by, I need to take a picture of the first one and then the second one and then the third one is super close. I think that's how it works. That's a nice Pidgey photo right there. I have 28 photos of Lapras. Oh, because I got so excited that it was going to be so visible. Oh, come on. Yep, I guess that one with it breaching the water like that. That's a nice photo. <laughs> Maybe this Kangaskhan back is better. Eight pictures of Meowth. Do I have the one from up here? Yep, let's go with that one. <laughs> what is the photo of his tonsils? That's it. Or the, what's the thing in the back of the throat? The uvula? The little dangly thing in the back of the throat? Pretty sure that's called the uvula. Cardi B calls it something else. Okay, great. Let's go to Professor Oak with the score. Pidgey, let me see. It's already in the report. It didn't get the special because it's not doing gust. The size is somehow not very better. The pose is better. The technique is better. And there's other Pidgey in the photo. So even though it's not using its special move, you can see that we got a much better photo. I'm happy with anything that's a, that's over 2,500. Let's see, this Doduo, the size is slightly better, pose is the same, technique is the same. So yeah, we increased our score slightly on that. I'm happy. Let me see, this is a Meowth. And the size, slightly better. The pose, much better, because he's, I don't know, screaming or something. This photo is much better than the last one, so it automatically forgets the last one. Okay, this this is a baller Lapras photo, dude. Okay, maybe not with the size of 120, thanks, Oak. 
You were close. <laughs> it's still better than the last one. Well done. <laughs> That's sad. Kangaskhan, is this equally bad? Oh, wow, it's slightly better than the last. Wait. Wait, Austin, let's return to the lab. It is me, Professor Oak, and therefore your friend. Welcome back. You take pictures at a good pace to make your work easier. Here's a present for you. It will come in handy for taking Pokemon pictures. Would you like to be closer with Pokemon? Then use this apple-shaped Pokemon food. It's easy to use. When you're not focusing your camera, press A to throw it. Pokemon in the distance will happily come closer when you use this item. If you want to throw further, look up slightly, then throw. Here's a hint for you. Throw some Pokemon food at an electrode that's not moving and see what happens. Good luck, Austin. Shall I repeat this information? No, thank you. Great. And now that we have our brand new Pokemon fruit food thing, we're gonna be able to use that at the two courses that we already have unlocked, the beach and the tunnel, for some Pokemon turning around, maybe some things happening, and apparently we're supposed to use it on an Electro that's not moving. And we're gonna learn all about that in our next episode of Pokemon Snap. So do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.